James Day she doesn't court the spotlight but Sherry Kuto has quietly forged a reputation as one of the UK's leading performers in tech. The 53-year-old Canadian first made a splash with her financial services platform Interactive Investor, which she founded in 1994 and sold in 2001. Since then, she has worked as an angel investor, backing more than 50 companies including Love Fullman Zoopla. She's also served on the board of the London Stock Exchange, the advisory board of LinkedIn and the Finance Committee of the University of Cambridge. Her latest venture, Founders for Schools, is an online platform which aims to inspire students by connecting them with local entrepreneurs. Here, she discusses her working life. Be the early birdie live in Cambridge, so I try to be in London no more than three days a week. On Mondays I like to be in London to talk to chief executives facet face. Friday is a Cambridge day, but the rest are a hodgepodge. If it's a London day, I wake up at 6 a.m. and take my son to the station for 7-10 a.m. He gets his train and I get mine. I work on the train it's a good time for me to work because it's just about an hour solid and I can get through stuff without any interruptions. I like dealing with emails and I often read something that I've been saving. I'm then at the office for 8-10 a.m. That means I have spent a bit of time with my son and that I can have about an hour before other people come into the office. Make time for home life you've got a rule 20 out of 30 nights I've got to be home by 6 p.m. I have three kids and a husband, and I want to be there with them. I introduced the rule about 10 years ago. Life had been quite hectic and if you don't decide that you will be at home for a certain amount of time, you will find yourself never there. Work ends on Friday. My executive assistant Helena tells me I have 60 meetings a week. We schedule time in the day to prepare for those meetings and I like to let the person know beforehand what we're planning, or find out what they want. I don't just do coffee. I always make notes in my notebook. I've already written nine pages in a day and I go through them afterwards. Friday is often a mop-up day making sure that all of the actions from the meetings that I've had have either been delegated to someone else to follow up or I've followed up myself. Otherwise you lose the plot. For probably 25 years, I have been on an I don't work at weekends regime until about 9 p.m. on Sunday, when I map out the week ahead and familiarize myself with what I'm doing. How to hire the best tech talent for your startup clear your mind when I'm on my Cambridge days, that's when I exercise. Swimming is my thing. It's when I have the opportunity to think through things though I don't necessarily know what's on my mind until I get in the pool. Stay flexible my life changed a few years ago. When I found out I was pregnant with my third child, I was persuaded that the right course would be to consider being an angel investor, as being a CEO is not particularly compatible with having children. It is beautifully flexible and intellectually, it's like being in a candy store. Teach the Entrepreneur of Tomorrow Founders for Schools came out of the desire to solve a problem why don't more students think about careers in starting and growing businesses in schools, we found that bringing together business leaders and kids could be really profound. It was as if they were given permission to dream and hope. For the project, I draw on the same principles that underpin my businesses. I'm a very data-driven person. I did degrees in political science, econometrics and then business. So as an entrepreneur and investor, it's always about trends. With Founders for Schools, our algorithms look at labor market adjustments and inform the teachers where the skills gaps are going to be. They also inform them, which entrepreneur can talk about that in their class tomorrow. Take the plunge if I had any advice to my younger self, it would be that it is worse to stay with something you're not thriving at than to move on. Of course, it may be frightening to move on because you're jumping into the unknown, but for me the unknown has always been pretty good.